Good morning, friends. It is Thursday, the 10th of January, and I knew it was inevitable that we would be getting snow. And we sure did, overnight. We got about 8 to 10 inches of snow. I am looking out of my bedroom window to the woods that are behind our unit here. And, uh... The wind is just blowing and moving the treetops all around, blowing the snow off the branches. It's very, very cold. Very cold. So I think it is time to go and make some coffee and cook some oatmeal. I fixed some overnight oats last night, but you know what? I'm in the mood for hot oatmeal, so I've just put on a little bit of water, be adding that, and then I will dress it up with a little bit of milk and real maple syrup and some cinnamon. It is so cold out there, I just felt it was appropriate to use my blue bowl, my blue mug. They remind me so much of the beautiful skies of Italy. And here is the oatmeal. I have a little bit of milk down in the bottom of the bowl. Okay. Then I'm going to sprinkle on a little bit of cinnamon. And drizzle on a little bit of maple syrup. That should be enough, huh? And top it off with a little skinny pat of butter. And that's what's for breakfast on Thursday morning. Hot buttered oatmeal with maple syrup. Hey guys, it's dinner time on Thursday and I'm in the mood to have something with eggs. So I've got three really nice eggs here. I microwaved two very small potatoes earlier today and I diced them up along with some onions. I like to um, add oil in that this way now, nowadays. I just put my food items in a bowl and then I drizzle the oil over and it seems like you can coat it so much more evenly that way. Um, in the pan here I have one Roma tomato that was in the freezer and I brought it out and diced it so I'm just sauteing that off. And, I'll take that out before I put the onion and the potatoes in. I also found a couple of slices of cooked bacon and uh, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese. I already have salt and pepper and some rosemary on the potatoes. I think, I wish I had some green onion when I was out the other day. I just didn't even think about getting green onions. Or if I did, I thought, well, I'll go over budget. <laughs> so maybe I'll get them next week. But anyway, I'm going to add a little bit of parsley flakes and a little bit of Italian seasoning. So, I will show you what it looks like when it's all done, okay? Okay, guys, dinner is ready for Thursday evening. It's basically scrambled eggs with some sautéed tomatoes on top and home fries with onion and bacon and seasonings. So, it's all from home, and that's what's for dinner on Thursday evening. Good morning, friends. It is Friday. Uh, the 11th of January, and I thought I would just give you a quick peek out of my front door. Oh, it's going to be so cold because I'm in my bare feet. Ooh. Oh, it's freezing. It's like 20 degrees. They've done a really nice job on the parking lot already, but we got about 6 to 8 inches of snow night before last. The first major snowstorm we've had this winter season. We usually get much, much more than this. So we have been enjoying a, a mild winter so far. And frankly, I'd love to see it come back. But that's what we've got out of my front door this morning. My neighbor still has a reef on her door, which looks very pretty. Okay, let's go inside and I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast. So, breakfast this morning is just um, cereal and banana and some coffee. That first cup of coffee. It's 
smells good and it tastes good. And this coffee pot is just a rascal. But anyway, that is what's for breakfast this morning. Milk and cereal and coffee. And I have to clean that up. <laughs> the snowstorm that we got a couple of days ago really buried my car. So I'm going to ask a young friend of mine if he would come and clean it off for me and bring it back to my front door. He is a wonderful young family man, a brother in Christ, and I know he will do it when he can. So to thank him, I'm making up some butterscotch chip cookies. Uh, and the first thing I always like to do is just sift the dry ingredients. I have flour in here, cinnamon, salt, and baking powder. So here goes. In this bowl, I have all the wet ingredients. I have an egg, a stick of butter, some shortening, brown sugar, vanilla, white sugar. And I'm going to beat that nice and creamy. Now it's time to start adding the dry ingredients. I've got to start with half of the flour, and this is why I use a, a wooden spoon. Now I'm going to add half of the oatmeal. Why don't I put it all in at one time? Because I don't want a super dry cookie dough batter here. This is the way that you control it, by adding your ingredients a little at a time. And if it looks like your dough is becoming too stiff, then you know you better just hold off on adding any more of the dry ingredients. Okay, now I'm adding in about a third of a cup of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips, just because I want to. It's not necessarily in the recipe, and I've got one good cup of butterscotch morsels. So that's going in, and then I've got maybe about, I don't know, a third of a cup of walnuts and again you don't have to put that in this is just a personal preference and I'm going to mix that all up and scoop it out with my uh, cookie scooper some people call these a, a meatball scoop makes a, a ball of about an inch or so in diameter and in the meantime I'm heating up my oven to 350 degrees and here in the background I've got a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper Well, as you can see, this recipe makes a huge batch of cookies, but I don't think they're going to go to waste. Um, I'll put the recipe down in the description box below, and maybe you'll give it a try sometime and enjoy it too. Okay, guys? All right, I will see you later. Hey, guys, it is Friday, and I wanted to bring you up to date on my low buy, no waste January challenge. I think I've been doing really well. I'll show you the menu that I um, printed out at the beginning, and then I'll show you what I used. I already know what I'm planning for tomorrow. I found a little piece of ham in the freezer and here is a jar of my homemade split peas. I've got a small red potato and here's some rosemary and you know I'm going to be adding onion and garlic and all kinds of seasonings. But let me show you where I'm at, okay, and some of the things that I've made this week. Hey guys, this is Steph. It is January the 11th and I just wanted to give you a little update on my low shop, no waste January. Uh, freezer, fridge, and pantry challenge, okay? Um, let me see. I have cooked the chicken and stuffing with french fried onions on top. Uh, I also made an egg dish. It was more like a, it had potatoes in it, a little bit of bacon, and some tomato, and I scrambled my eggs, so I did that. I also made tuna patties. I didn't use lima beans. I made an Asian slaw to go with that. 
And then when I started in the beginning, I had some chili in the freezer and I ate it three times. Um, let me see, what else? The chicken and stuffing, it made a lot too, so I had, excuse me, I just bumped my camera. I had three meals out of that. This I finished all in one sitting. And the tuna patties, I got five tuna patties out of that, so I had one meal already and I'm having another one just exactly like that, a tuna patty sandwich with some Asian slaw. So that's kind of where I'm at. I still have about $30 for the month. And um, tomorrow, hold on one second, okay? I have to kind of shift over here. Tomorrow I feel like making some split pea soup. I have my canned split peas. Um, let me see, I canned that back in February of last year. I've got rosemary to go with it. I'm going to dice up a small red potato. I'll be adding uh, garlic and onion and seasonings and everything. And then I also have a small piece of ham. So that's going to be for the weekend. Um, but for next week, I'm kind of thinking about making this turkey breast here, number 18. That sounds really good. I didn't have very much turkey over Christmas or Thanksgiving, so I'm not tired of it, and I still have some cranberry sauce. So, but that will probably provide, oh my goodness, it's a three pound breast, so it will provide the main meal and sandwiches and leftovers and soup. So that's probably going to take up a big portion of meals um, next week. But that's kind of where I am, okay? And um, thank you so much for watching. Are you guys doing a challenge? I know a lot of the people that I subscribe to, it's just like everybody's on fire doing challenges of one kind of, or another, whether it's a freezer pantry challenge or whether it's a purging, you know, of their household belongings. So it's just been a lot of fun watching everybody. All right, my friends, let me know how you're doing, and I will see you soon, hopefully with a roast herb stuffed turkey breast with mashed potatoes and cranberry sauce. All right, I'll see you later. Okay guys, it's dinner time on Saturday and I'm having a nice big mug of hot split pea soup. I still have some of that Asian salad left over, so I'm having a serving of that. And I wanted something crunchy with the soup, so I did open up my bag of corn chips and I've got a few of those. And while I was working in the kitchen today, I just went ahead and cooked up a container of rice and one of barley. And I'll probably be making some fried rice coming up this week. So that's what's for dinner on Saturday, and I hope you're having a good evening, okay? Bye-bye.